Um, I think the little home opener jitters for a lot of our freshmen that are just getting out on the floor. Um, you know, it was nice that we rebounded quickly, um, but it was we gave up a lot of opportunities in the first set. Now, talk now about the third and fourth set. You come out of the break, the 10-minute break. Uh, totally different team on the floor. They were uh, they looked to be in order much more. Uh, what did you say? Well, we did a couple things. First off, we talked and we basically started at square one, um, as if we were warming up for just another match. Um, basically, just got rid of that the first set totally. Talked about some things that we learned from the second set. Um, but I don't know if you noticed, we also switched up our outsides as well. We moved Sarita Nethersole over to the, the O2 position, um, and Lindsey Swan came in and played on the right side, um, which did a great job blocking for us. She did. She also had a couple of nice hits. Uh, you uh, relied on some young hitters today. You mentioned Sarita coming in. She finished with 10 kills. Uh, Lindsey Anderson came in, put down some uh, very impressive kills from up high, straight down. Uh, she finished with 11 on the night. Uh, so you're relying on some young hitter, hitters while also – uh, looking to your, your leadership in, in Cammie Nethersall, who finished uh, with 17 tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, everybody knows Cammie is our go-to player. Um, you know, right after her, you'd have to rank Michelle Cordell right there with her as well. Um, but, you know, it's really our youth that's going to, as it, it continues to get better and better. Um, and it starts right from um, Jackie Tambori, you know, who I thought struggled in the first two sets, but then was able to turn it around, turn it around, um, almost like an upperclassman would. So I thought she did a good job. and. You know, looking at the stats, she, did, she dispersed the offense pretty well.